Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Lucas Sacco versus 2024 YCS Champion, aka Triv Gaming, and this is going to be the third match. I posted match one and two yesterday, and this is the third match from that, so let's go ahead and hop right in, and also there might be more matches after this too, um, but we're going to see Lucas Sacco win the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoot, and they'll go first, 40 versus 60. We got Alert, Hydrant, Wanted, Rescue, Black Witch, they have Right, Roomheart, Fenrir, Arrival, Fateful, just stays opening Fenrir. And then Activate, Wanted, go search out Black Witch, and then Main Phase, Summon Black Witch, Send Black Witch, Effect, go ahead, set the original Sinful Spoils, Activate, Send, go Summon Populous, Populous, go search, grab out Subversion, Okay, normal hydrant, hydrant effect, grab out turbulence. Okay, so they do main deck the subversion. Activate alert, go grab preventer, then link those off to make an SP. Populous spell and trap zone itself. Uh, is there like a point to do that? I wonder if there is, because it, I mean, I guess we have alert and rescue that we've already gone through, so we're only setting three. So we can afford to do that? Okay, okay, okay. Makes sense, makes sense. Okay, set three from the deck. And then link off, go open the princess. Princess effect, summon back out turbulence. And then link those off, summon whale. And then, uh, we're on one. Yeah, wanted, banish. Go ahead, put back, and then draw. That draws in the turbulence. And then set rescue, pass. So it seems weird ending with whale, but, you know, princess can pop it. Which is pretty nice. Um, then past turn, they draw droplet. But I don't know. They, they keep ending on this like this exact end board with the princess and the whale. It doesn't seem like that much stronger. But I guess it just gives you a bunch more follow up with this and this. Yeah, because it's not like you're going to destroy your own card. But I guess it means they can't destroy Princess, right? You know, try to try to make it so that way they can't destroy it. Yeah, I guess you have, like, enough interruptions to where you should be fine. Okay, okay, okay. Special summon out Fenrir. And then on summon, we're thinking on what we want to do to it. You know, we have Trap, we have Princess. We're going to go ahead and Princess out it. And then... Activate Fateful, and we can't use Whale to summon SP there because we are currently locked in the fires. So, you know, it's a little bit unfortunate. Maybe you could argue that we should have summoned a fire the first time, but the only thing you could really summon there is, like, Sunlight Wolf. And even that's not the greatest because, you know, they're not going to special summon to the zone it points to. But, Activate Fateful, Normal Summon Room Heart, Room Heart 1, Fateful 2... Go search Draco back, search out Meek, and then activate Emergency, Summon Preventer, Send Preventer, Preventer Effect, Bring Out Hydrant, Rescue, Summon Preventer, Preventer Effect, Try to Book Room Heart, and now they're going to activate Droplet, Send Draco back, and then on Resolution, Extinguish the Room Heart, and they Admit Defeat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, on to the next game now. We will go ahead and see Triv go first. We got Preventer, Rota, Talent, Droll, Extinguish. They have Thrust, Black Witch, Room Heart, Peaceful Plane, and Droplet. So, I wonder if this build plays harder in the draw. I feel like it plays better into it. Because they, they shouldn't be opening combo as much, I guess. But that also means you won't open your combo pieces as much. But also, like, the Black Witch stuff helps play through it. Um, activate Peaceful Planets, Search Out Meek. And then drop draw on Lockbird, normal meek, room heart, pomp, special, and then activate the effects of Peaceful Planet Meek, summon from deck, summon from grave, up the level, and then make a savage, sure, and then go up into a baron, send peaceful, bring out black witch, and then effect to go set the original sinful spoils, thrust to set a karma cannon. Oh, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, go ahead, set that, set Droplet, yeah, I don't know what I was expecting Thrust to set, but I, I definitely wasn't expecting, like, an actual card to be set off that, I was thinking, like, I don't know, I guess it makes sense, though, because, like, you're not gonna play Thrust with Imprim in your deck, not a lot of people are dropping hand traps to, like, summon themselves against your deck, but pass, draw one for one, 
Yeah, I've noticed a lot of Bist deals are being cut from side decks to post Phantom Nightmare. But draw one for one. Activate Rota. Go search out Airlifter. But it's also fair because there's a lot of like fire decks and stuff. And then normal airlifter effect, chain droplet, then we can black witch, send the original sinful spoils, special summon out, and then effect to go ahead and set, and then that's going to go set wanted. Now, okay, in response to the diabellister effect, we're going to activate airlifter to summon. Oh, I guess that makes sense, yeah, because that will try to out the baron. So they said cost is fine. Wait. Uh oh wait 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 it's under droplet. Never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. Okay, 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 okay. For some reason I was thinking this was gonna summon from hand. I was like, wait, why didn't we resolve this? Okay, they stopped it. Okay. But it makes sense anyways, because you know, now we can go ahead preventer, try to summon. They baron stop that. Yeah, I guess they probably just should not have summoned this in defense. Now they're gonna go banish, you know, banish special, baron, stop it, preventer, summon back out, airlifter. They do have talents, talents to draw two in the imperm lightning storm. Okay, well, you know, we could have used a, a real card there. I guess, nah, if they take baron, then, yeah, that's not gonna be very great. It just won't work out, because karma cannon... It's gonna set airlifter. We got set four pass. They draw a rival. And then Okay, they're gonna go standby phase. You know, technically this could tag out for Room Heart. Also they could activate Karma Cannon to set the field, which would turn off any rescue ace traps. But I feel like if we were gonna do that, maybe we would have done it during their turn. Activate turn up uh, you know, potentially turn off rescue ace trap. But then also, when you flip Baron back up, you get the negate again. But here, they're going to go draw phase, extinguish on Baron. Then main phase, activate wanted, go search Black Witch. They said you play multiple now. Yep. They said, yeah, I mean, they do play 60s. So, you're going to go ahead, send a rival, summon, effect, go set wanted. And then switch to attack. Okay... Um, so we're going to go ahead, battle phase, poke. I want to see how they play this. What's in their graveyard again? Nothing for them to charm or take. Main phase two, go up in the SP, activate this. I was going to say, because they have to be linking off, right? If they don't want to go wanted first, put back, draw, and then effect to go ahead, set this from deck instead of another wanted, so like, you know, they had to be linking those off to get this effect. That would that'd be like the only thing that makes sense. So, you know, it makes sense that they're going for this. Go search Jet, put back Black Witch, and now we have Wanted, Banish, put back Draw, draw into a Temple, Temple effect, go ahead and search out Rite of Aramisir, Rite, Summon Out Token, bring out Fateful Adventure, Fateful Adventure, go search Griffin Rider, and then they said Sect and Normal Summon yet. Yeah. Okay, so decides to normal summon this, and then Fateful Adventure, go ahead and search Draco back, then Fateful Adventure, go search Monster, and then discard Draco back, effect to equip, and then Griffin Rider summon, uh, Draco back, bounce back, one for one pass. Okay, so... Yeah, we just go ahead, pass, turn there, you know, we don't have a link in the graveyard or anything, so they can't go into savage but even then like you know having this as follow up in decks pretty good and this is just a negate anyways but they draw on the black witch so now go main phase imperm griffin lightning storm monster okay because we know what the back row is karma cannon wanted you know what they are so call monster one for one discard bring out hydrant Shouldn't we have just Lightning Storm called back row? And then all they have is SP. And then you summon Hydrant. And then you go Hydrant Effect to search. And like, you know, they could SP banish, but you still get to search like a Turbulence. But now we just summon Hydrant, right? And they just go like, 
Book of Moon with the Karma Cannon. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Imperm. Oh! Wait! That was the Imperm Column. Oh! 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 My bad. My bad. My bad. I get it. I get it. My bad. My bad. You played that properly. For sure. My apologies. My apologies, good sir. Um, they said, you lose now. Yep. Nice. Yep, well played. Well played. Activate Turbulence. Banish. Go Summon. Turbulence Effect Go Set. Now, I was going to say, all we got to do is make sure that we don't set into the Imperm Column ourselves. Yeah, they set manually from deck to play around it. Which, you know, it doesn't, you know, I mean, they can do that. Because, like, you know, I mean, they're going to win. Said, yeah, GG. I could have done way better. Got to go, GG's, GG's, Merry Christmas. Okay, so uh, I'm going to do spoilers for the first two matches right now. So if you don't want to hear that, then click off the video right now. All right, do, do, do. All right, so uh, Lucas won the first match. Triv won the second match. Lucas won the third match. So, you know, Lucas Sacco is now 2-1 in this, you know, match set type thing that they did you know i mean it was just testing at the end of the day so it's not like this was anything actually important they weren't playing for money or anything but you know it is nice to watch games like these uh you know the imperm and the karma cannon i i don't i don't, I, don't I, I just missed that i missed that i was gonna say just call it back row and then like hydra and the turbulence and it seems like you would just win anyways but you know there's no point of doing that when you just imperm the karma cannon call monsters and Easy game, easy game. But all right, um, we will see that this match. Oh wait, that's not even when it started. Okay, yeah, I mean this match was only like twenty minutes long, but that is not horrible. I mean that's a really quick match to be honest. They must have been playing fast. But all right, with all that being said, the DB Grinder signing off. Peace. Make sure to check out their channels down below in the description and have a nice day.